All right, hey y'all. Welcome back to the channel. I'm doing something I haven't done in literally months. And that is, I'm going to go ahead and do a collective read, a general read for um, the Tea Tribe and any and everyone who watches this video this week. All right. So you guys comment down below and let me know if I should start doing um, readings again. Because y'all know I used to do them and then I stopped. All right, so I'm going to pull one Oracle from the Moonology deck. I just picked this deck up because um, I just thought it was so pretty. Some other people uh, do readings with it. I fell in love. Don't mind my hands. I just put on some Florida water, which makes me look ashy, and my nails look a mess. Ignore all of it. All right, so I'm going to pull one oracle to give us the overall message, and then we're going to clarify with the tarot. The tarot deck I'm using is Beginner's Guide. Nope. Yeah, Beginner's Guide to Tarot deck. All right, let me shuffle. cards are so pretty. Can y'all see the art? Ugh. Gorgeous. Alright. Alright. There we go. I always like to look at the bottom. Mm. Great question. Alright. So the overall message is going to be step out of your comfort zone. Alright, let's get some, whoa, clear the energy. Be like that sometimes, y'all. Alright, so if this is your first time, or maybe you're new to watching general readings, they are just that. They are general, and, um, they may or may not resonate fully. Take what makes sense to you and kind of leave the rest. Um, you know, if you want something more specific and really attuned to your particular situation, I would definitely recommend finding a reader that you love, that you believe in, and have them do a personal reading for you all right that's pretty much how i like to shuffle i shuffle until they start flying out usually um but this particular deck because i literally just got it i haven't fully connected with it yet all right so we have the four of wands <clears throat> I don't remember which came out first. I think it was the sun in reverse. All right, so here we have um, the overall reading or the overall feeling or energy for this particular reading is to step out of your comfort zone. And then we have the four of swords, um, which is more like retreat, meditation, um, you know, going within for some inner healing um recovery that sort of thing the sun is usually that happy card you know all is right with the world exhilaration excitement but in reverse it's the total opposite and then we have the seven of wands which is um when i look at this i see someone who is tired of constantly feeling like or feeling as though they have to fight right they have their guard up with these wands kind of encasing them in like a, a very loose cage if you will um and this person has one of the wands in their hands like they're they're ready for a fight right
So what I'm getting from this is it's time to really let your guard down. Um, and I might see if I can go with, mm, let's see if one of these cards will clarify for us. Um, it's time to let your guard down and um, enough with the, the retreating and secluding yourself from others. Um, maybe we're dealing with some people who have like social anxiety um, issues and there's something that you really desire to do somewhere you really desire to go um, but it's outside of your comfort zone and because you're 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 stuck within that comfort zone you're not really achieving or experiencing the true happiness this, that this life has to offer it's okay to let your guard down right uh, it's okay to step out and be amongst other people um, and do things that you've never really done before all right so that's what i'm getting from from that i'm gonna see if i can get one more card from the moon allergy deck to see if there are any more messages all right all right mm. <laughs> wow mm. okay so we have hold on y'all let me see I want to make sure that you all can see. Let's see. All right. So second card is walk through your fears. Work through your fears, excuse me. Uh, which is kind of what we were just talking about. Stepping out of that comfort zone. Whatever you're afraid of that's causing you to continue to retreat. It's okay. You know, it is Okay. Um, but if you want to ch achieve that true happiness in life, that that happiness that you dream about and you um, think about on a regular basis, but you're not going and stepping out of your comfort zone because you are afraid of whatever and you have these barriers uh, up, maybe from past hurt. You know, I think we've all experienced hurt in our lives from uh, all relationships, you know, intimate and non non-intimate relationships and then we have speaking of relationships bring love into the situation all right um so what i'm getting uh with this particular card uh in aquarius is this is self-love the love that we need to bring in this situation um is definitely self-love and the more you love on yourself and increase your the love for yourself the easier it's going to be to step out of that that comfort zone that you are pretty much stuck in all right so yeah that is the energy and the message for this week um for the collective for those of you who have been wanting to do something maybe you've been wanting to go somewhere um start something um but because you've been so hurt you are kind of just stuck and you're like nah if i don't if i don't go anywhere if i don't do this whatever this is um i can't be hurt mm. <laughs> wow look at that the hermit so that's more of that um really reclusive energy um that is all up and through this spread let me see if i can pull this back y'all hold on i don't know how these readers get these angles man i'm like how do they do that yeah it's way too much um seclusion going on let's see if i can get one more card i try to shuffle off cam because of the way, because I don't pull cards, I just let them jump. It, it tends to take a while, so. Hmm. One more card. Yeah. All right, so we got the Queen of Pentacles. So, okay.
yeah so this is the energy that you all are seeking right you're wanting to um achieve some success you wanting to increase your money um and that may mean that you have to start a business get another position um right there's something new that you're gonna have to do there's a, a new door that you're gonna have to walk in and you're afraid to do that but in doing so um you're going to be able to achieve the success that you are desiring to achieve, okay? With the Queen of Pentacles. It's going to open up opportunities and create opportunities that, um, you know, is really going to make a difference in your finances. And, um, yeah, it's going to bring forth the energy that you all are, are seeking, right? But you have to get out of that comfort zone and get out of this reclusive, um, kind of almost depressed, um, energy where these boundaries are, have been put up. Okay. So, um, that is what I'm getting from this particular spread.